What's up guys, Joe Snow right here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. Today we're discussing about the iOS 10.2 Beta 1 jailbreak demo that was actually published on YouTube recently by the same guy we, uh, we seen in my previous video. He demoed the iOS 10.1 jailbreak. So apparently there have been a couple of uh, rumors about his jailbreak being fake and so on and so forth. Um, especially on uh, on Reddit, on the Air Jailbreak, where actually the uh, CDA author, Sorik, came here and commented about the video being kind of fake because of that and that. We talked about that in my previous video, you can watch it, and uh, we discussed about Sorik's um, idea and Sorik's vision about this guy's jailbreak, but he came back with a new video called iOS 10.2 Beta 1 Jailbreak Demo with Cydia Substrate and Code Injection. So, the video was posted on uh, November 5, but I uh, didn't create a video on it at that time because I didn't want it to get your, um, your hopes too high as this guy isn't probably real. But I'm going to discuss about his jailbreak anyways. So in this video, as you can see, he's using a stasher. He created stashers, usually move files to the uh, var folder in order to give you more space and so on and so forth. But nothing important right here. Uh, and then he shows again Cydia, he installs mobile terminal on iOS 10.2, uh, he says. But keep in mind that it can easily be a modification to the um, to a system plist file. So there is a plist file on the system on the core services folder that contains the operating system version. If you modify that, for example, from iOS 10.1 to iOS 10.2, in the settings, your phone will believe that you're running 10.2, even though you're not. So it's easy to fake that thing. Uh, and we saw that being done in the past by other uh, teams like GS Magic, if you remember, so on. Also, he's using some kind of um, interface here. It, this is a mobile terminal. And he, um, he tries to install the uh, YUCCA, from what I can see in there, it's a tweak he created for stashing. Again, nothing important, but he wants probably to demo the uh, the fact that tweaks work. And then uh, the video actually is being concluded with uh, writing a couple of um, commands in the uh, mobile terminal. But again, as I said, it can easily be iOS 9.x with a couple of tweaks on it or very easy with a modification to the springboard. And even though it looks like it is um, iOS 10.x command center or control center right here, it can easily be replaced from, an, um, from the IPSW to iOS 9.3.3. So your are broken on iOS 9.3.3. And because he's a tweak developer, he knows how to modify uh, these things. And so he can get his iOS 9.3.x a um, iOS 10.x theme. So keep that in mind. But in, in the same order, this can be real. So uh, let's just don't see it at completely fake. It can also be real, we don't know for sure. Um, but if it's real, he said right here in the description, as he said in the uh, previous video, that he's not going to um, to publish them because exploits require a lot of work and uh, CDR Substrate is broken and he's a single developer and so on and so forth. He's not also planning to sell the exploits from what I heard. And as you can see, he's not planning to release anything publicly, but maybe, just maybe, if this thing is real, Maybe he'll pass it to Pangu, which is less likely to happen, but yeah, we can hope. And now let's talk a little bit about the iOS 10.2, uh, the beta 2, because it was released by Apple. And yeah, let's see what it contains. So as I said, the iOS 10.2 was released, the uh, iOS 10.2 public beta 2 was released for registered developers, so we can download it and install it from beta.apple.com. Now, iOS 10.2 is not extremely important, important, but it does have a couple of features that were changed. So it will include a new wallpaper set, you got new wallpapers, new emojis were added to the um, to the devices, and also will contain a side of these bug fixes and emojis and wallpapers, 
of course, uh, will contain a new video white cat. So I'm pretty curious to see how this would look like at the end when the iOS 10.2 will be released. Of course, it doesn't seem to be a lot. Um, but keep in mind that the uh, iOS 10.2 is only in the public beta 2 for the moment, so um, it's not just yet ready. They might change it and they might add new features during the, uh, the, the next betas, so keep that in mind. But for the moment, those are the important characteristics of the iOS 10.2 new emojis, new wallpapers, bug fixes, and a new video white get. And probably they also fixed some bugs, some issues, uh, but the most important thing is that this might uh, put in peril the uh, jailbreak. Why? Let me explain if you have a minute. So, Pangu cannot jailbreak iOS 10.2 because it is in beta and they never jailbreak publicly beta firmwares. So they're most likely going to target iOS 10.0 to iOS 10.1.1. Now, iOS 10.1 and also iOS 10.1.1 fixed an important exploit in a JPEGs, which uh, actually could have been used on the jailbreak. And it's most likely that Pangu are going to is going to use that uh, exploit, that vulnerability in their jailbreak, which means that you should stay on the lowest firmware possible, do not update to 10.2, do not update to 10.1.1, to 10.1, and so on. If you are on iOS 10.0.1 or 10.0.2, stay there because it's it's extremely likely from Pango to create a jailbreak for, for 10.0.2 and 10.0.1. iOS 10.1, as I said, fixed a lot, of, um, a lot of exploits and a lot of vulnerabilities, so you can check out on the internet on the security changes and might put in peril the, uh, the jailbreak. We don't have Pango's official word for, uh, for the moment, which means that we don't know what to do, but I do recommend you to stay at the lowest firmware possible. If you are, for example, on iOS 10.0, the first iOS 10 uh, release, stay there. If you're on 10.0.1, stay there and so on. Do not update to 10.1 or 10.1.1 and of course, you should not update to 10.2. But if you have a secondary device you're going to use for uh, development and so on, or you want to update to betas, you don't care about jailbreak, for example, uh, you can go ahead and install the profile right here. This profile will be installed on your device from beta.apple.com. You need to go to this website, it's in the description, and you need to log in into your App Store account, your free account, you don't have to sign in for a developer account. Just use your normal account and you will be able to download this profile called iOS Beta Software Profile that is verified and then your device will restart. After the restart you should be able to see this and you will be able to download the uh, public beta 2, 3, 4 and so on. Um, also keep in mind that beta has come with a feedback application right here but keep in mind that um, you should not accept this feedback application if you don't read it first. It's very important uh, because as you can see from here, Apple will gather device logs which may, may contain personal information such as your name, your device identifier, network connection, location, calendar data, email correspondence and so on. So if you don't want to send all this or all your personal data to Apple, do not enroll in their feedback uh, program. Just click the client, click OK and exit. So um, that being said, this wraps up the, our video and I really hope you liked it. Do not forget to tell me in the comment section down below or vote in the card up here. What do you think? Is that jailbreak real? And what do you think about iOS 10.2? Will we get a Pango jailbreak for 10.2 in the future? Peace out.